Hey everyone, it's Matt here, and welcome back to another episode of Commander Adventures. And guess what? We hit 2,000 subs last week, so seriously, thank you for your support so far, you guys. Despite all the chaos, Devin and I are in the process of working something out to celebrate, so stay tuned to the channel for updates. Alright, let's jump in to player introductions. First off this week, we have Mark, bringing in Adelie's The Cinder Wind. It's an aggro wizard's deck, and if you want to see more about it, you can actually check out his article here. He kept a mountain, an island, Prismatic Vista, Snapcaster Mage, City of Brass, Dino Charge, and Preordain. We then have Randall, testing out Athreos Shroudveiled. It's an Orzhov Reanimator deck, which he built from the remains of his Marika deck. He kept Urborg Tomb of Yawgmoth, Bloodstained Mire, a Plains, a Swamp, Solemn Simulacrum, Orzov Signet, and Utter End. Then comes Lasivita, playing the enchanting Tuvasa the Sunlit. It's all about dropping enchantments for value, and pumping Tuvasa while also having some enchantment-based win cons as a backup plan. He kept Temple Garden, Seaside Citadel, Sunpetal Grove, Ristic Study, Oracle of Moldiah, Sterling Grove, and Path to Exile. Finally, we have Michael, kicking himself for playing Halar the Fire Fletcher. It's Kicker Tribal, which focuses on burning out his opponents with Halar's ability. He kept Baloth Gorger, Orin Reef Recluse, Unstable Footing, Untamed Kavu, Orin Reef the Vastwood, a mountain, and a forest. Mark starts us off. He drops an island tapped, and casts a preordain. He leaves both cards he scries on top, and then draws a card, before passing off. Randall drops a bloodstained mire. He loses a life to crack it, and then passes off while searching for his land. Lasivita drops a tapped seaside citadel, and passes off. And then Randall finds his godless shrine, and has it enter tapped, as Michael drops a Carplusian Forest, and then passes as well. Mark drops a mountain, and then casts a thing in the ice. It enters with four ice counters, and then Mark passes off. Randall decides to help the other players at the table out with an Urborg Tomb of Yawgmoth. He casts an Orzhov Signet, and passes. Lasivita shocks in a Temple Garden. He casts a Sterling Grove, and passes as well. Michael drops a mountain, and passes off. Mark drops a Prismatic Vista. He cracks it, and loses a life, to bring in another mountain. He casts his commander Adelise, and moves to combat, hitting Lasivita for two, before passing off. Randall drops a Plains. He casts a Solemn Simulacrum, and goes to bring in a tapped Plains, as Lasivita untaps. Lasivita then drops a Sun Petal Grove, and casts a Rhystic Study, before passing to Michael. Michael drops a Forest, and passes off again. Mark drops an Island. He casts a Dreadhorde Arcanist, and pays the extra for Rhystic Study. He then moves to combat, and hits Michael for two, before passing off. Randall drops a Swamp. He casts his commander Athreos, and then moves to combat, swinging Solemn at Lasivita for two. Lasivita remembers his draw from Rhystic Study, and then takes two damage, as Randall moves to end step and puts a coin counter onto Solemn. Lasivita drops an island. He casts an Oracle of Moldiah, and reveals the top card of his library. He drops the tapped Mistvale Plains as his second land, and passes off. Michael drops a game trail, and reveals a mountain so it enters untapped. He casts an Orin Reef Recluse, and pays the extra for Rhystic Study, before passing off. Mark drops a Scalding Tarn. He then casts a Slip Through Space targeting Adelie's. He removes a counter from Thing in the Ice, and then gives Adelie's Unblockable, before drawing a card. Also, his Storm Count goes up by 1, and he doesn't pay for Rhystic Study, so Lasivita draws a card. Mark then moves to combat, 
and swings both Adelies and Dreadhorde Arcanists at Randall. On attacks, the Arcanist triggers, and Mark casts his preordained for free. On cast, Thing in the Ice loses a counter, Mark's storm count goes to 2, and Lasivita misses his Rhystic Study trigger. Mark then scries 2 to the bottom of his library, before drawing a card. Randall takes a total of 7, and then Mark cracks a Scalding Tarn to bring in an untapped island. He remembers to exile Preordain thanks to the Arcanist, and then casts the Talrand before passing off. Randall untaps, as Lasivita draws a card from Talrand's cast. Randall then casts a Read the Bones, and Lasivita draws another card. Randall leaves both cards he scried on top, and draws them before losing two life. He casts a Mana Crypt, and pays for Rhystic Study. He then casts the Smothering Tithe, and doesn't pay, so Lasivita gets a draw. Randall then moves to combat, and hits Lasivita for two more, before moving to end step, putting a coin counter onto Oracle of Moldiah, and passing off. Lasivita untaps, and doesn't pay for his draw, so Randall creates a treasure. Lasivita then casts his commander to Vasa. He drops a forest, and casts a Song of the Dryads, enchanting Smothering Tithe. On cast, he draws a card, and doesn't pay, so Randall should have made a treasure. Lasivita then drops a Makokoro as his second land, and casts a Soul Ring, before passing off. Michael drops an Orin Reef. He casts his own commander, Halar, and pays the extra for Rhystic Study. He then passes to Mark. Mark drops a City of Brass. He moves to combat, and swings both the Arcanist and Adelies at Lasivita. On attacks, he casts Slip Through Space with the Arcanist. Drawing a card, increasing a storm count, removing a counter from Thing in the Ice, and creating a 2 2 Drake from Talrand. Lasivita then misses his draw from Rhystic Study and doesn't block. Mark then moves to end step, and after we find him a Drake token, he passes off. Randall untaps and rolls for Mana Crypt on his upkeep. He takes three damage and then drops an Oh Hi Market. He casts the Villas Broker of Blood, and pays the extra for Rhystic Study. Randall then moves to combat, and swings Solem at Lasivita, who blocks with two Vasa. Solem dies, and Randall draws a card, before Solem is returned thanks to Athreos, and Randall tutors up a tapped swamp. After all of that, he moves to end step, and puts a coin counter onto Villas. And before end of turn, Lasivita cracks Sterling Grove to tutor up a Starfield of Nyx to the top of his library. In his main one, Lasivita casts a Ghostly Prison. And in response, Mark counterspells it, paying the extra. This puts a trigger to remove the last counter from Thing in the Ice on the stack, and also creates a Drake from Talrand, which really won't be relevant in a moment. With Thing in the Ice's trigger on the stack, Randall activates Villas twice paying in 4 life to kill Talrand, and drawing 4 in the process. Thing in the Ice then transforms into Awoken Horror, and returns all non-horror creatures to their owner's hands. After all of that resolves, Lasivita casts the Starfield of Nyx, and discards down before passing to Michael. Michael drops a mountain. He recasts Halar, paying the extra for Rhystic Study, and then activates Orin Reef to put a plus one plus one counter onto Halar before passing off. Mark moves straight to combat, and swings his horror at Michael for seven. In main two, he casts a Jace Friend's Prodigy, and doesn't pay the extra for Rhystic Study, so Lasivita gets a draw. Mark then passes turn. Randall untaps, and succeeds his Mana Crypt flip on his upkeep. He drops an Arcane Lighthouse. He casts an Arcane Signet, and follows it up with a Heliot's Intervention, targeting Starfield, Rhystic Study, and Song of the Dryads. He doesn't pay the extra for Rhystic Study, so Lasivita draws a card, and then responds with an Enlightened Tutor. Michael lets it resolve, 
and Lasivita puts the crystal chimes on top of his library. Then Starfield, Ristic Study, and Song of the Dryads are all destroyed. Randall then discards down at end step, and passes off. Lasivita untaps, and doesn't pay for Smothering Tithe. He recasts Tuvasa, and Randall remembers to put his coin counter from Athreos onto Jace. Lasivita then recasts Oracle of Moldaya, and plays a forest from the top of his library, before passing off. Michael untaps, and doesn't pay for his draw. He drops a forest, and cast a Rishkar Pima Renegade, putting a plus one plus one counter onto both Halar and Rishkar. He follows up with an untamed Kavu Kicked, and Halar gets another plus one plus one counter, before dealing three damage to each of Michael's opponents. Michael then passes off. Mark untaps, and doesn't pay for his draw. He recasts Adelise, and moves to combat, swinging the horror at Michael and Adelise at Randall. Randall takes the damage, and Michael blocks with the Kavu. Mark then moves to end step, and Randall casts an utter end targeting Jace. In response to that, Mark activates Jace, discarding his fifth card, and exiling him to transform. And here's where some rules get interesting, and I get called over to clarify what happens. On top of the stack, we have utter end targeting Jace Vrin's prodigy. In response, Mark activates and resolves his ability drawing, discarding his fifth card, and exiling Jace, before immediately returning him to the battlefield transformed. Once Jace's ability is fully resolved, Athreos realizes Jace was exiled, and triggers to return him. However, Jace is no longer in exile, so he can't be returned, and the ability fizzles. Finally, Utter End loses target, since Jace's friend's prodigy is no longer on the battlefield. After all of that resolves through, we pass off to Randall. Randall recasts Vilis, and activates it to give Tuvasa minus one minus one until end of turn. And in response, Lasivita goes to Path Vilis. With Path on the stack, Randall pays another two life to activate Vilis targeting Tuvasa again. He draws two cards, and Tuvasa is removed. With Path still on the stack, Randall sacrifices Vilis to high market and gains a life. Path fizzles, and then Randall draws two more from Vilis. He drops a Frexian Tower, and then flashes back the Unburial Rites in his graveyard, targeting Vilis, to make all of Lasivita's efforts worthless. Randall casts his own copy of Ghostly Prison before passing off. Lasivita untaps and doesn't pay for his draw. He casts a Karametra God of Harvests, and follows up with a Courser of Crufix. On cast, he tutors up a tapped irrigated farmlands from Karametra. After cuts, he reveals an island off of top deck and plays it with Courser before gaining a life and passing off. Michael untaps and doesn't pay for his draw. He drops a mountain and casts an Orin Reef Recluse. He pays to kick it and puts a counter onto Halar before each of his opponents takes 4 damage, and Randall remembers his treasure token. This damage also causes Randall to draw 4 cards, and with the recluse still on the stack, Randall casts a Vampiric Tutor. He tutors a card to the top of his library, and then loses 2 life on resolution, which in turn causes him to draw 2 cards. The recluse then hits, and blows up Vilis. Before Michael activates Orin Reef, and passes off. At Michael's end step, Mark takes the damage from City of Brass, and delves away five cards, to cast a Dig Through Time. He looks at the top seven of his library, and puts two to hand, before putting the rest on the bottom of his library, and moving to his turn. Mark untaps, and doesn't pay for his draw. He casts the Serum Visions, and doesn't pay for that draw either before scrying a card away, and increasing his storm count by one. He moves to combat, and swings the Horror and Adelise at Lasivita. In response to attacks, Lasivita swords to Plowshares Adelise, and Mark gains three life. Lasivita blocks the Horror with Courser, 
and in main two, Mark recasts Dreadhorde Arcanist. He then casts a Brawl, and then activates Jace to give Halar Neg 2 Neg 0 until the end of his next turn. Mark then passes off. Randall untaps, and fails his Mana Crypt flip. He drops a Command Tower, and casts a Buried Alive. He puts Eile, Vishkal, and Yosei into his graveyard, and then casts a Karmic Guide. He returns Eile to the battlefield as it ETBs, and then casts a Machaeus the Unhallowed. He activates Frexian Tower, and sacrifices Karmic Guide to add 2 black mana. Karmic Guide then returns with a plus 1 plus 1 counter thanks to Undying, and Randall targets Vishkal as the guide ETBs. With that trigger on the stack, Mark takes a damage to cast a Vapor Snag, targeting Machaeus. In response to that, Randall sacrifices Machaeus to Eile to gain 5 life. Vapor Snag fizzles, and Randall returns Vishkal. Randall then casts a Reanimate to return Machaeus, and loses 6 life in the process. Randall then sacrifices Karmic Guide to Vishkal to give him 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters. With Vishkal and Machaeus on board, Randall is now able to wipe all creatures using the following loop. This one's fairly straightforward. Randall can remove the 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters from Vishkal to give any of his opponent's creatures neg 3 neg 3 until end of turn. He then sacrifices Vishkal to himself, who returns with a plus 1 plus 1 counter from Undying. From there, Randall can remove the single plus 1 plus 1 counter to give a creature neg 1 neg 1 until end of turn, and sacrifice Vishkal to himself again. This loop lets him infinitely recur Vishkal, and wipe all of his opponent's creatures. After all of that, Randall passes off. Lasivita untaps, and doesn't pay for Smothering Tithe. He then Beast Within's Machaeus. In response to Beast Within, Randall sacrifices Machaeus to Vishkal to add 5 plus 1 plus 1 counters. Beast Within fizzles, and Lasivita follows up with a Wrath of God. In response to that, Randall sacrifices Athreos and Vishkal to gain an additional 18 life. The Wrath then resolves, and wipes the board. Finally, Lasivita casts the Crystal Chimes, and passes off. Michael untaps, and doesn't pay for his draw. He recasts Halar, and gives it a plus one plus one counter from Orin Reef before passing off. Mark untaps, and doesn't pay for his draw. He casts a Spellseeker, and goes to grab a Cyclonic Rift to hand. He then downticks Jace to cast Serum Vision. He draws a card, and doesn't pay for Smothering Tithe, before putting the cards he scried back on top of his library. He casts a Storm Chaser Mage, and hits Lasivita for one, before passing off. Randall untaps, and fails his Mana Crypt roll, taking three damage. He drops an Ancient Tomb, and casts the Beseech the Queen. He grabs and casts a Living Death, and demonstrates the infinite combo he has in his graveyard. Alright, so this one's going to take a moment to explain. If you already know how the Karmic Guide and Revel Arc loop works with Machaeus, feel free to skip to this time code for the game review and outro. With Living Death resolving, a lot of creatures hit the battlefield for Randall, but here's the relevant ones. And as a quick note, anytime I reference sacrificing a creature, assume that I mean we're sacrificing it to Vish Call. Karmic Guide's ETB fizzles, and then we can finish the setup for the infinite combo by sacrificing Yosei. As it dies, we cause one of our opponents to skip their next untap step, and also tap down five of their permanents. Yosei then returns with a plus one plus one counter thanks to Undying, and we can sacrifice it down to repeat this process. Only Yosei stays in the graveyard this time. With Yosei in the graveyard, and Karmic Guide and Revelark on board without plus one plus one counters, we can start things off by sacrificing Karmic Guide. It returns to the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter thanks to Undying, and as it does, we'll use its trigger to return Yosei to the battlefield. We then sacrifice Yosei twice more, and its death trigger happens twice, before it stays in the graveyard again. From there we sacrifice Karmic Guide, which stays in the graveyard as well. We then sacrifice Revelark to Vishkal, and return it to the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter thanks to Undying. 
With its death trigger to return Karmic Guide still on the stack, we sacrifice Revelark again, and it stays in the graveyard this time. Finally, we resolve either of Revelark's death triggers and bring back Karmic Guide, which in turn brings back Revelark and resets us to where we started off this combo. With this loop established, Randall is able to tap down all of his opponent's permanents, while ensuring they don't get an untap step for the rest of the game. By doing this, he's able to effectively continue to take turns, and win by either drawing into a Blood Artist, and infinitely draining his opponents, or more simply moving to combat and eliminating his opponents with an infinitely large Vish Call. And with that, Randall eliminates his opponents, and walks away with a win. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment down below. Devin and I are both trying to be more responsive in the comments, and we're sorry for how distant we got there for a bit. A couple of things came up in our personal lives, and we just got a little overwhelmed. But we're back in the comments now, so feel free to get a hold of us there. Alternatively, you can check us out over on Facebook, or more directly at the new Discord page we set up. The links for both are down in the description. Also remember to subscribe and ring the bell to see more of our Commander content. After hitting 2,000, our next big goal is 5,000 subs, and we want to let you guys pick how we eventually celebrate it. So make sure to share this video as much as possible, and feel free to leave any ideas you may have for things you'd like to see down in the comments. And of course remember to keep them within reason. If you want to directly support the channel, you can check us out over on Patreon, or use our affiliate link in the description and the comments to support us at no additional cost to you. I'll see you all next week with another gameplay video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you're doing your best to stay safe out there. See you next week.